I've just picked this poor wallaby up off of the road. I've coming home from picking gas up at work at five o'clock in the morning and it's still dark and she was in the middle of the road and she wasn't there when I left so I knew she'd only just been hit and it actually was a female and there's a good sized joey in that pouch and it's very cold outside so I didn't want to take him out the pouch so I brought the whole body home with me in the boot it's only just a couple of minutes down the road. She hasn't made it. But it looks like the Joey's alright. You can see his two back paws there. Two back paws. That's his tail. And his head's, head's down this end. So he's in there head first. That's the head down the bottom side of the pouch. That's his legs and his tail up at the opening. I'm going to sacrifice one of my old jackets. It's got a wreck sleeve anyway. So I'm going to cut any loops off that the joey might get caught on. And I'll cut off the zipper and the sleeve so he can't get hurt by anything. So that's all the inside of that nice fleecy lined jacket cut out. Awesome. Colette's helped me line this pillowcase. We just got a pillowcase, put the lining of the jacket inside it. So that's a nice little warm cosy spot just like the pouch. And once it gets inside there, we'll lift up the edges and turn it into a more of a closed in pouch. But we've got to get him in first, so I'll leave it there and we'll go and get him out of the mother. Hey baby. Okay, yeah, he's gonna... not on the teeth. Just be gentle. He's trying to turn around. There you go. Come on, baby. That's it. That's it. Just wriggle him out of this pouch as carefully as I can. Okay. Quickly, into, inside. Hey, darling. Hey, darling. I know. Hey, darling. Nice and strong. Okay, we're going to put you in a new pouch. There you go. It is just the most gorgeous little thing I have ever seen. It is beautiful. I'm so happy that we're able to help it and it looks well and truly big enough that it's going to be right. We just get the um, wildlife rescue carer to come and pick it up and it's still really early in the morning. It's only about six o'clock so we haven't had any answers back yet but I'm sure as soon as they wake up they'll help us out. It's just amazing to see it that size. Such a beautiful little thing. Okay, we've got it inside the lining of the jacket and then inside a pillowcase. And I'm going to hold it against my body now so it's got a bit more extra warmth. Hello, beautiful. Look at you. So pretty. Filming. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty you are.
So soft. Aren't you beautiful? We've heard from the wildlife carer. We've organised her to come and pick it up, and she should be here in about 20 minutes. She'll take it for a vet check. They'll check it over, make sure there's nothing wrong with it, and then they'll get it onto a uh, milk mixture, a supplement, instead of its mother's milk. But it's a really good size and a good age, this one, so it's got a good head start. Such a cute little thing. So that's a joey, which is what you call the babies. And it's not a kangaroo, it's a wallaby. Wallabies are very similar to kangaroos. Same sort of thing, except they're just much smaller. So a kangaroo can get about anywhere from four to six foot tall and wallabies generally only get about two or three foot tall but they eat the same as a kangaroo um, they travel in the pouch like a kangaroo Look at those big ears. My, what big ears you have. That's those nice strong back legs. And then it's big long tail. Is that your big tail sticking out there? Hey? You got your big tail hanging out. She's looking for milk. Yep. I'll close her back up in there. Make sure she stays warm. And then the pillowcase. Out of all the pouches I've checked over the years, this is the first time we've actually got a live joey out of one. I'm so happy that we've got to help this joey. Well, the wildlife carer just came and picked up the joey, and she was awesome. She was really good. She answered heaps of my questions, and she was really knowledgeable. And um, she let us know straight away that one we had was a little girl. And she even showed us where its little pouch was going to be. She showed us a bit further up on its tummy. Uh, so that was awesome. It was really good. And she was happy. Said it looked really healthy and um, it'll be fine. Said she looks after it for a little while. And then when they're big enough, they go to a halfway house. And they get to mix with others and make their own little mob and socialise. And then they get released. So that is excellent. Really good outcome for that. She's the mummy for him and she looks after him and gets them old enough to release back in the wild. It was really good. She was lovely. Okay, so that was a really good outcome. The best we could hope for. The joey looks like it's going to be fine and it's off to somewhere that'll look after it properly. Thanks very much, everyone. Make sure you take time for the simple joys. Bye.